Welcome back to Wendy Will Travel. I'm Wendy Will Travel. In today's episode, we'll be heading to Toyama, Japan. Here, we will check out the Toyama Castle, wander along the river, enjoy the sculpture park, listen to a traditional three-string Japanese musical instrument called a shamisen, and check out a brew pub. Come on, let's go! <laughs> so here we are at Toyama Castle and we're checking out the castle in a winter wonderland. The castle is somewhere over there, but it's a little hard to see since we're in a bit of a whiteout. Woohoo! I wanted snow and here we go. This is the snow we wanted. <laughs> Yay, there's Richard going on adventures with me. Yay! <laughs> Running through the snow. Yay! If I had my snow clothes on, I'd do snow angels. But <laughs> Look at how big those black crows are. Aren't they huge? I, can we, I, I should go back and get my gloves and make a snowman. Ah! <laughs> we will. Let's go check out the castle first. They are towards this kind of thing, but uh, making a, a yellow snow thing. <laughs> in, the, in, the, in front of the castle. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Because no one's here. Right? <laughs> no one will see. <laughs> here we are at the Toyama Castle. We have made it through the blizzard. Made it through the thick white snow. And this is the entrance to the castle. Da, 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 da. We will go and check it out. And see what it looks like from the inside. It looks pretty cool from the outside. A lot of snow today. It's so pretty. This is the Toyama Castle Park that we're looking at. Entrance over there. Another part of the castle over there. So let's go in and check it out. Okay. This is the Toyama Castle located in central Toyama. I really wanted to take you on a tour of the inside of the castle, but they really don't want me to video in there. So I'll just take a moment to tell you a little bit about it. The castle was originally constructed in 1543 in the Edo period, but was dismantled during the Meiji period and reconstructed again in 1954. The castle grounds include the reconstructed castle keep, an art museum, a beautiful Japanese garden, spacious lawns, and a statue of the former local lord. It's a popular spot for cherry blossom viewing, usually around early to mid-April. The inside of the castle keep is the Toyama Municipal Folk Museum, which recounts the city's and castle's history. There's also an observation deck with a great view of the city located on the top floor of the castle. Where do you see that? He just flew up over there. Oh. Oh, uh, he's come back to you. Beautiful. This is part of the Japanese garden here in the park. You did a video. Yeah. It's just so beautiful. Sure wish I could have shared the awesome suits of armor, the weapons used way back when, pictures of the reconstruction of the castle keep, and the view of the city from the observation deck. I love this kind of stuff. Eh, we're now headed to the river walk to enjoy the big snowflakes and beautiful statues. Giant snowflakes. <laughs> They're just giant snowflakes. We're walking along the river here in Toyama and checking out the sculpture park. And as we're walking along the river, these gigantic snowflakes start coming down. 
They are so huge out of the sky. <laughs> so beautiful, right? I love it. These are huge <laughs> snowflakes. And my, my food is like... <laughs> <laughs> Full of snow! Full of snow! <laughs> Love it! This is great! So, I don't have any more video footage of the beautiful statues along the river, but plenty of photos. These are just some of the 28 sculptures you can try to find along the Matsukawa River Walk. The Matsukawa River is a popular place for Toyama City locals to relax. It's also one of Toyama's best cherry blossom spots, attracting thousands of visitors every spring. This is my friend Dean. He's a talented musician that helps others learn about the traditional Japanese three-stringed instrument called the shamisen. Just a dog skin. Yeah. This is dog skin. Um, oh. very, it's the most expensive um, one you can get, unfortunately. So the one that sounds the best. Um, next up would be uh, the smaller shamisen. Uh, Cat skin. Nigauta and Minyo uh, have their smaller body. The body mm. is, though, is smaller. And it's typically strung with cat skin. Um, mm. The strings are the same. They actually use three different types of material for the string. There's silk, uh, one called tetaron, which I still don't know what it is, and uh, nylon. So three <laughs> different types of strings. Um, the body, I believe this is also, this is koki, and this is also koki as well. Uh, wood. Oh, I forgot the name. English. <laughs> no, it's from Japan. It's got a little device on the back. This is somebody has not know. This is the thing that makes it buzz. So it's it's meant to do that. On a guitar, if it buzzes, I'm gonna go take it to the shop. <laughs> uh, on the shop, if it buzzes. You want it. Mm. it holds that sound. So that, that device lets you tune it in. The more uh, like Mino style don't have it. Um, you just you use the a little bump in the in the Quite nut here you. and it sits against the side of the, the shot. <laughs> so that's what causes that sound. It's more pronounced on Sugar style than others uh, because of the Osmo uh, also I haven't played in a while. So I'm still like <laughs> A little bit rusty, and I also just put a brand new string on the, the my first string, so it keeps going out of tune. Okay. Anyways, enough noise. I'm gonna play a couple songs. Um, I was not. I was told kind of last minute that I was gonna play. <laughs> so, uh, Me too, Yudi. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have spent a bit more time preparing. So, anyway, this is, this is uh, rusty. Oh yeah. Change the key. <laughs> so I'm like really low. <laughs> Just 
spent a lot of time tuning. <laughs> After the show, I headed back to my hostel I was staying at and walked along the river to see the beautiful light up for the holiday season. All the Christmas decorations were so beautiful.
is these characters were created by a famous Japanese artist that was hired to create a lovable mascot for Toyama, depicting excitement and joy for the city. I think the artist did a great job. My last stop in Toyama was the Kobo Brew Pub. I love craft breweries, tasting their beers, and checking out their setups. The Kobo Brew Pub is a refurbished old Japanese homestead. I had the Kobo Brewery tasting set with four different fun flavors for just 1,400 yen, which is the equivalent of $12.20. The brewery specializes in traditional Czech style brewing. The brewery is named after its founders, Kota from Czech Republic and Boris from Slovakia. Together, these two have over 20 years of beer making experience and brew up some tasty drinks. This is such a beautiful bar. Check out all the different beers they have on tap. <laughs> oh, and look, there's Kotas, one of the founders. Hey, Kota. This is such a great place to check out when you're in Toyama. They have tasty treats to enjoy as well. I had the Toyama Wagyu Jerky and fried potato wedges. They were delicious. But I should have tried the sausage, since it's a special secret recipe brought back from the Czech Republic. Mm, next time. This is such a great place to come and hang out with your friends. It's such a big, open, friendly, sociable pub in an absolutely beautiful neighborhood. And this isn't really all that far from the ocean and the Toyama train station. <laughs> well, this has been a great adventure. Thanks for joining me. Wendy will travel in Toyama, Japan to enjoy the Toyama Castle the Matsubara Riverwalk and Statue Park, hear the traditional Japanese Shamisen, played by my friend Dean, and visit the Kobo Brew Pub. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, share this video with all of your friends and family, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Stay tuned for the photo show.
Thank you.